Hello, Cancer. <clears throat> How are you guys doing? Welcome to your love reading. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for tuning in. So this is for Cancer. Uh, this will resonate for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please understand this is not a one-size-fits-all reading, guys. This is general. Take what you need for you and leave the rest for another Cancer or Cancer placement out there. Okay, so let's see, Cancer, what is coming to you in love. Please hit that like button if you uh, feel this reading was helpful to you in your situation, in your story. What's coming to Cancer in love? So you have the Six of Cups, Reverse Flew Out. What's coming to Cancer in love? So I do feel like for a lot of you, this is somebody who, this is somebody from the past, I feel. Um, that it seems like they just can't really let you go here. There is definitely a problem with uh, letting the past go in this situation. Um, this could be, you know, obviously letting a person of the past go or just letting some issue from the past go. What's coming to Cancer in love, Cancer? And I just feel like, you know, it's one of those situations to where you might have to chase this person out if you really don't want them Cancer, okay? Uh, maybe this person from the past keeps coming back to you or something like that, okay? The, uh, the Knight of Swords is that energy of luck. I'm going to tell you this and that's final, <laughs> Okay, I'm going to tell you this, and this is final. What's coming to Cancer in love? Okay. Queen of Cups. Apparently, this person's still in their feelings about you, Cancer. Could be another Cancer. What's coming to Cancer in love? I'm just getting that someone doesn't really take no for an answer. Could be a Capricorn too. Capricorn had a, had a, uh, a similar energy. Well, not necessarily similar energy, but it was about like no communication, separation type of thing. Okay, so I do feel like somebody in this situation definitely can't let go. Now, if it's mutual, who knows? It's different for all of you. You would know if it's mutual with you, okay? But uh, the signs we have here are Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with these swords. We do have another Cancer. Okay, I was hearing Capricorn. And I'm also hearing Virgo. So tell me about the Six of Cups reverse for the Cancer in Love. This is someone that you have history with, Cancer, and I just feel like they just can't let you go. This could even be a Taurus. Okay. Knight of Swords for Cancer. I think this person's extremely obsessed. Um, and I'm hearing they, they may be trying to tempt you. Someone may be trying to tempt the other person into communication, almost like luring them, it seems. Okay. I'm also hearing someone could be using the kids to get to the other person. Um, very, very strange energy. Someone feels abandoned and they're not liking it at all. Ace of Swords for Cancer. Someone's not liking the rejection or the abandonment. Someone feels really triggered. That's what I'm getting. Queen of Cups for Cancer. Two of Swords. But this person may have very well deserved you to, you know, curse them out for some of you, okay? Depending on what they've done for cross watchers, you know, maybe this Cancer can't leave you alone. Okay, um, depending on what this Cancer done, you probably have good reason for not talking to them or rejecting them. But all I can see is that this person, just, you know, someone thinks about the other a lot, a lot. And they do feel ashamed. They do feel a sense of regret for the past. Five of Pentacles reverse. And they feel triggered. That's what it's about. A lot of fighting cards. They feel triggered. Um... So I do think that this person's going to, whoever is feeling triggered is going to continue to come, you know, um, but they're going to continue to be getting shot down most likely. Okay. What else for cancer in this love situation? What's coming? Will of fortune. I mean, they find it really hard um, to get over this. They feel ver uh, very stuck. Cancer. Okay, and I'm also getting for some of you, maybe it could have been something else influencing the connection as well, such as, you know, maybe there are some financial issues and it just seems like right person, wrong time, but maybe you don't want someone who has a sad story 24 seven cancer. Okay, but this person is not ready to take no for an answer. 
cancer. They're not ready to take no for an answer. That's the energy I get. Seven of Wands. But there is this energy of like trying to keep someone away, telling them no, but they just won't stop. They won't stop. They won't quit. Who had that similar reading? Could have been Aquarius too. Libra energy. Okay. Um, but that's what they desire here, Cancer. Now, do you want this person back? Um, who knows? If you do, well, then you're in luck because it seems like they're not going to leave you alone. However, um, there could be something a little toxic about this person, okay? Or do you, maybe you just feel like they're not a suitable partner for you for X, Y, Z reason. I'm also getting maybe someone just doesn't want to be bothered overall with anything love-related, okay? What can you show me for the situation for cancer? But yeah, I think someone's bringing on obsession. <laughs> Someone's really trying to manifest you and them um, challenges, make a decision, work on inner healing. I'm hearing someone is willing to like get magic done or do spells or whatever. Love spell. Cancer. Wow. I mean, this person wants you back at all costs. They will do anything they could do. Spy. So some of you really need to protect yourselves, guys. Okay. But this freak just seems like this person is not here to take no. Intuition, the red flags you will ignore now will come back to bite later. You have a uh, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and divorce. This could be a divorce that's going on, and you're trying to like tell this person, look, I don't want this. Please let this go. Leave this alone. Um, I get that someone still loves the other person. They still have feelings, but it just seems like they're seeing it from rose-colored glasses and not realistically. Okay, that's kind of what it feels like here. Like, they're just really infatuated, obsessed, and just, like, do you not remember what you did to me? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Somebody wants to work it out. Cancer. Yep. This person comes with drama. They're too attached. Yeah, someone is not trying to let go. Period. Someone's obsessed. They're willing to do anything. You have an affair. Worry. What else do we have for cancer, please? A superficial bond. Answer. What else do we have? An email or call or a text. What else? Delays ahead. Let the past go. Um, forgiveness needed. Yeah, I think someone's really feeling depressed without you. They're codependent. Someone's codependent. Um, being too clingy. Whoa. And let's say cancer, this is more of like a self-development type of thing. Um Perhaps this reading is kind of you know, calling out to you to to sort out your abandonment issues, sort out sort out you know your um your prior issues because that could be what's stopping you from having a healthy relationship or connection. Because the six of cups reverse could be somebody who's still like traumatized from the past, um, so that could be something that um is is you know kind of sabotaging things and in the way. Okay. So, Cancer, that is what I have for you. That's what it looks like you can expect at this point in time. Uh, I just think whoever this person is, they refuse to leave you alone. They don't get the memo. Um, that's what it seems like. All right. Love you guys. Let me know what's going on in the comments. Talk to you guys soon.